hi and welcome back to Sadie Spincraft. Today we are going to make an art bat. I shall get you all set up and turned around and then I'm not looking down on you. So, we will be using the leftover bits from the combing that we've done. Um, includes the white, all of it. Um, there is more in there somewhere, I do believe. And we're going to use Merino, um, Wool of the Andes, Sari Silk, Reclaimed Sari Silk, uh, Angelina. We may even use a bit of Lotus. I don't know if I'm going to use dyed or natural. So we'll go with the floor. Um, I think I want to start with something a bit darker so let's go with black this is merino and I, I'll show you what I mean You should always have a wool base if you're adding things like Angelina or silk or bamboo. You always need a bit of wool down first. First of all, I'm going to start adding these in and I'm just going to paint them on. Not bothered how it goes because we are going for a lumpy art bat. Going out of my comfort zone because I'll be spinning this and I don't do lumpy bumpy. <laughs> I love the look of art yarn but I just can't spin it myself I'm too much of a perfectionist So what I'm doing here is I'm painting onto the drum and I'll tell you what I have forgotten, my brush, I'll be right back. I'm back, got my brush, and I'm just going to grip that with my nose. Just packs it down a bit more. These is because they were sharp bits and I don't want them in that, so I'm just going to leave them there because the liquorine has done its job so yeah not too bothered by that let's add this blue so once again merino
I'm going to put some reclaimed Cyrus Hulk on. There's a bit of... You'll notice with stuff like this, I do a corkscrew. <laughs> I don't know why I do it, but I do. So you've got a corkscrew of colour going through. <laughs> Let's use some wool of the Andes. This is hand dyed by myself. Um, I did start spinning it, but it's one of those I think I need to not spin from comb top and actually either put it through a drum card uh, or on some combs or just a different prep for it because it just I don't know I didn't enjoy spinning it from comb top I suppose it is I suppose you could say it's slightly felted that could have been why. Oh, let's add some of this. Um, There is no rhyme or reason to this bat. I'm literally just using bits of wool. I think I do believe this is merino and soy fibre that I hand dyed and spun the majority of it but saved a little bit to actually go into an art bat. So there we go. Some of this. Can you not do that? I'm making a video. Sorry about that. What been watching about sirens? <laughs> We want some blue Angelina to go on here. And do you know what? I am going to use some milk fibre as well. Because I can. But that's the joys of art bats. You put in whatever you want. There's not a lot on there really. Let's get some more wool on. Um, I think some pink is due. This is South American. You'll also notice the more you play with your drum carder, um, different 
wool fibres, different wools, will take up more space than others. And you just need to be mindful of that so you'll get less of one fibre on and more of another. So you'll figure out which ones you get loads with and what you don't. On goes the grey. And I'm even going to put in a little yellow. Not a lot. So we can see the South American has actually taken up quite a bit of room on the drum card compared to what the Merino did. But I do have enough room to put on a little bit more. I don't know what to put on. Oh, let's add some, I think it's maroon or mauve. I don't know why I'm picking bits off. Don't really matter, does it? <laughs> right, and as that goes in, I'm going to add some of this. So, slowly does it. And back to black. I'm going to finish it with this black and then we'll take it off and have a look at what we've created. I'm not going to put all that through, there's more merino there than there is when I do it with the. Oh, what do you call it? Come on, South American. a little bit too quick for the merino with it being so fine so I'll just slow myself down see that's folded so I'm just gonna lay it out this bit through and then we'll be done but do remember if you are putting through locks and other chunky things like yarn and whatnot you are best off adjusting your drum you need a thicker um, space between your liquor in and your drum because you don't want to be breaking your tines by forcing it through such a small gap. So yeah, if you're doing a, a more textured art bat, I do suggest moving your drum card further away from your liquor in. So, let's take this off. Oh, you little sausage. Get off, get off. Will you move?
so there's one side Oh, I'll just <laughs> and there's the other and then if you pull it apart you can see all the different layers and colours running through it oh, that's actually going to be really fun to spin so I'm going to take all that off there that I've just deposited it needs to be on there <laughs> and I'm going to fold this up and we will spin this another day but I am loving that cobweb of black over them colours wow thank you so much for watching no matter oh no I've got that wrong so we'll start again thank you so much for watching if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you, you are notified every time I upload a new video Don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and don't forget no matter where you are in the world whether it's morning afternoon evening or night time i want you to do what you love doing love and hugs to all you fantastic people out there and i'll see you all again soon bye